As the fortunes of peasants rise, the lot of the ruling class plummets. For centuries, nobles have depended on serfs to work the estates. Now, with better jobs drawing peasants elsewhere, nobles are left without a labor force, forcing them to gather their own bitter harvest. Now, that is from the Black Plague documentary. I'll leave a link down below. But what's misleading is that the noblemen are the ones that are paying the peasants to work their land. So what are you talking about? The noblemen are actually doing their bitter harvest by themselves. It's like, well, no, well, the noblemen are actually paying these people. I mean, some noblemen are doing it by themselves, but the vast majority of the noblemen are paying these people to do work on their land. So that's where it's misleading. But if you don't catch it, you don't catch it. Now, slavery was around for a very long time, so obviously it was very successful. But why or when did it start to become unpopular? And that was after the bubonic plague. Now, before the bubonic plague, uh, there was feudalism, which is a form of slavery. They were tied to the land. There was a lord that was, uh, you know, he was managing, he, was, he owned that place and uh, he was in charge of them. He was the master. So it was a form of slavery and you couldn't get out of, you couldn't just leave the land. Uh, there was ways to get out, but uh, you couldn't just leave the land like that. You know, you had to work your way out. It was a form of slavery. Now, during the bubonic plague, obviously people were dying like crazy. After bubonic plague, they needed workers in certain areas. There wasn't enough workers. So they needed workers and it didn't matter where you were, come work for me here, come work for me there. And people started going to different places to work. So now they weren't tied to the land. So it's like, ah, freedom. But it wasn't everywhere, you know, uh, certain places still had slavery, but that was a popular movement and then eventually they started getting rid of slavery because caucasians really did not like slavery because it wasn't their system it was our system because black people were in europe during the middle ages but they don't want to talk about it but we were there okay so after the bubonic plague they started going to different places to work and that's what they really liked that was freedom for them but what happened with that you lost track of people and then also they could be up to mischief. When you have the feudalist system, the slave system, you could keep track of people and they would actually um, be more civilized under that system. Because now you have the free system, now people could go anywhere they want and then they could do whatever they want until they get caught. But under slavery, you could actually um, contain the people and make sure that they're doing the right thing, the things that they're supposed to do. And then when they get out of slavery, they're civilized individuals. You don't want ignorant racist people in the free system causing all bunch of problems. You don't want that. But that's what happened when the freedom system started to um, proliferate. So that's when um, slavery started to uh, dissipate was after the bubonic plague. Now, this is them talking about slavery and how successful it was before the bubonic plague, before the, all the catastrophes in the mid 1300s. But they don't come out and say that, but you can read between the lines. It was very successful before uh, the bubonic plague. At the dawn of the 14th century, Western civilization is riding a phenomenal streak of prosperity. Europe has had three, maybe four centuries of really good times. Um, the church has been strong, various kingdoms have been strong, uh, trade has grown, cities have grown, um, industry has grown, there haven't been any natural catastrophes, weather's been nice, population has been growing. It's really been a nice time for Europe. But this long expansion is about to collide with a new reality. Suddenly, global climate patterns shift. Temperatures plummet and crops fail. With startling swiftness, the golden age collapses and visions of the apocalypse come true. The four horsemen of the apocalypse have come. come. Famine hits, plague hits, war is all over, and death is all over. By the 1340s, War ravages the continent. The deepening crisis hits peasants hard. So a very successful system 
that has been taken over by a very corrupt system. A lot of the things that were done under the free system, under slavery, they would not get away with. Like I keep on saying in comments, in YouTube comments, if Black Wall Street was a slave plantation, all those Caucasians would have been rounded up and executed. But it's the free system, so it was the freedom to attack Black people and get away with it. That's how corrupt the free system is, or the world order that came afterwards. Because after the bubonic plague, slowly we had the Protestant Reformation was clearly a new world order, and that's when they started changing everything. And things started to go downhill for black people, women, and gay people especially, and poor Caucasians. Because nobody likes to talk about poor Caucasians, but they are around. <laughs>